I'm so tired and I look insane, but here we go. it's Kristen and this is the crafty Kristen YouTube channel welcome if you're new here um I am going to do my 2022 year in review for all my knitting and I think it was actually all knitting and um some of my January finished objects and then February plans I guess or annual plans so if you're interested stick around I guess <laughs> um it is January 31st and I have been meaning to make a 2022 recap video for a really long time and I just hadn't gotten to it. So, um, I have notes. I have notes. I also started a journal, so we're going to talk about that too, but let's start with 2022 recap. So in 2022, I knit 51 objects. Um, hopefully I've pulled pictures and I'll have them on the screen, but here we go. I knit 21 pairs of socks. Obviously that's going to be my largest amount of finished objects. Um, I think almost all of them were vanilla socks, maybe a couple patterns here and there, but mostly vanilla socks. I knit nine garments, including two children's sweaters. They were both size 4T, so not huge, but, um, I knit nine garments. I, I'm missing a picture of one too. Um, I don't, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. It's actually my mom's Uchi sweater, the Uchi cardigan, which still makes me sick to look at. So <laughs> I have not taken finished object pictures of it. So that will be missing, I think, from my pictures. But um, so nine garments, including those two children's sweaters. I knit four shawls and I kind of miss shawl knitting. I, I love them. I love them all. I think they were all triangle shawls, like just oblong triangle shawls. And yeah, I, th I think, I think I need to add a shawl to my list this year. So I knit two pairs of fingerless gloves. I think they were both the same pattern. Um, but I'm, I don't remember exactly. I knit, um, two, sets of dishcloths so I counted it as dishcloths you know but um yeah there were two projects on my Ravelry page I did three cozies two jar cozies and one yarn cozy I had four hats including one beret which was for a um, knit along with Professor Pearl and I thought those were really cute I think two of them were Musselbergs and then one of them was the beaded hat the Christina hat by iRock Knits. Um, I knit one gnome last year and one baby romper, which was super cute. And then I knit three Christmas ornaments and a stocking. So that was a lot of knitting. I, d I guess I did no crochet, but feel pretty good about that. 51 finished objects is decent. So I know a lot of people talk about it. it's not about how much you knit, it's about what you get from it, but honestly, I don't hang on to a lot of my knitting. I'm definitely a gift knitter, and so I don't have a lot of, like, I, I feel like I don't have a lot to show for all the knitting that I actually did last year, um, but I, I'm still happy with what I knit, so, um, let's see, other stats for 2022. I brought over six active whips one that I have um what would you call that hibernated hibernated <laughs> one that I'm just not going to work on anymore I don't know I don't I don't want to frog it but I'm just not motivated to knit my um coziest memories blanket by Kemper Ray um or two of my larger blanket projects that I've had for a long time so those are actually all three hibernated hibernated I don't know. Uh, my cat is eating, if you can hear him. Sorry about that. Um, this is literally the only time I can film, so yikes. <laughs> After all of that, I decided that I needed to calm down on stash. You can see some of my stash and some of my project bags over there. So I did an inventory, and I'm going to try to screenshot some of my online inventory that I have. Well, it's not online. 
it's my computerized inventory where I've done a bunch of columns. It's really pretty. Here it is. Um, showing you just kind of a breakdown of my yarn and how I'm going to track my yarn usage this year. So <laughs> I counted all my yarn and I had 247 skeins at the beginning of January. So at the end of the year, before I got anything in or did anything, I had 247 skeins. The breakdown is pretty insane. I had, let's see, 22 Arkansas Yarn Co. Yummy Plush, 15 High Twist, 7 Sparkle, 2 DK, and 1 mo Mohair, all from Arkansas Yarn Co. I had 24 different yarnable skeins, 10 Felici skeins, which is actually 20, but they're 50 grams, so I counted them as 10. I had um, 9 other self-striping skeins, uh, 4 additional DK, um, 27 woolly mama yarns and 17 that I still have from knit crate which I canceled over a year ago nearly two years ago um and then I have 101 random or miscellaneous hand dyed fingering weight skeins three surrey five mohair and I have not counted all of the minis that I have but I know it's over 70 um full 20 gram minis so that's a lot of yarn. <laughs> One of my goals this year is to use that yarn, pare it down. So I am going to be doing giveaways and stuff like that. Um, just to get my yarn collection, what I want it to be and have like, you know, make it knittable, knittable, <laughs> usable. <laughs> anyway, um, this is my bullet journal. You see that? I'll, I'll actually probably put in some pictures, but, um, I am tracking everything in a bullet journal this year to see if it helps me stay organized <laughs> and on task. That's a big one. So, um, I know at the beginning of the year, a lot of people start these kind of things and then never finish, but I'm really, really trying to figure out a way to stay on top of my own life. Um, because I don't really have that much going on. I should be able to stay on top of it, but I, I just, I don't. So, um, I did get an additional skein in January, which I added a stash making my stash 248. And then in the month of January, I used two skeins and I'm giving away six, one with the We Share Needles podcast and one because somebody guessed my stash number on Instagram. So I'm sending her like five skeins of yarn, which are right here. And so I have to take them out of my stash inventory, but I've got two Arkansas Yarn Co. skeins. This one is a knit crate. And then these two are knit crate, I think, but pretty. Um, so yay. Um, let's see. I think that's all I wanted to talk about for 2022. Um, sorry that I didn't do any vlogging in January, but I do have all of my finished objects for the month sitting here. So I'll show you them. Starting with the most recently finished object, which is this pair of socks. Boom. This is a Knit Picks Felici colorway. It's called um, summer nights. And I did a gentle pattern. <laughs> I just slipped every eighth stitch on the new color. And I did that for two rows. If you can kind of tell, um, I think on this one at the beginning, I was just slipping for one row and it didn't actually give the effect I wanted. So I started two and it looks much better. And then on the foot, I didn't do the bottom. I just did the top and I think it's really cute. They don't match like identically, but that doesn't bother me on Felici and they're just staggered by two stripes and I like it. So, um, that was the most recently finished object. I just finished it a couple days ago and then I have five others. So hold on. Um, I think this was the first one I finished of the month and it was a Musselberg. This is a hypnotic yarnable colorway. It's called Sweet and Sour. The pattern is Musselberg by Isolde Teague. It's one of my favorite hat patterns. And it's going to a friend. So I think it's really cute. Um, 
Then I knit my first Sophie scarf by Petite Knits, which looks like this. I haven't actually taken a finished object picture of this either, but you can wear it like around your neck or around your hair and it's really cute. So um, this is also hypnotic yarnable. Colorway is apple crisp and it's going to a friend. <laughs> and then I crocheted for once. Um, I crocheted a cat hat, which I have pictures of on my cat because you can't really tell what it looks like this, but like the ears go through here. And it was just a YouTube video. Someone had commented on the We Share Needles page. And so you can tie this around and it's just cute. My cat hates it, so I'm not gonna make him wear it again, but it took about 20 grams, kind of nice. This one took 50, just about a little less than 50 because it's um, fingering held double. And then this one took a full 100 grams, but I had started it before the beginning of the year. Um, so only these two projects counted towards my stash down. So um, I also knit a little gnomey boy. <laughs> this is the Adventure Gnome by Imagine Landscapes using scraps from my advent from 2021 with Wooly Mommy Yarns. Now his arms are supposed to be connected. I think they're supposed to be a little longer and they're supposed to be connected, but I didn't want that. And also I didn't, I couldn't figure out the instructions for the beard. It didn't work. And so I was like, I did something wrong. I couldn't figure it out. I just left it like this. I think it's cute. So, um, and his little feet dangle like backwards sometimes, but they're really cute. So there's that. And then the last thing I have to show is my biggest project. And it was my advent project for the Arkansas Yarn Co. Um, 2022 <laughs> advent, the elf advent. It is my habitation throw. And she's quite large now, but she's finished. And this one I'm keeping. <laughs> So this is my habitation throw. Um, I haven't gotten real finished object pictures of it yet or blocked it. And I really want to because I want to see if it grows a lot. Apparently the Helen Stewart blanket patterns grow a lot in blocking. So that will be interesting to see. But I'm super excited I finished a blanket and I finished it in January. So that's all six of my finished objects for the year or for the month. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um... Let's see, what else do I want to talk about? Okay, so we're going to talk about the journal a little bit. So I have <laughs> I have added crafting and life stuff in here. So I don't want to show you everything because it does have like all of my other stuff, work stuff. But I started a, this is fine, a goals section. So you can see I have regular goals knitting goals and then this is our this is all books and reading so one of my goals this year is to read a hundred books i read 60 books last year in six months from february to august and i stopped reading after august um so i figured if i could do 60 in six months then i can do 100 in a year right right we're hoping but i'm on track for now because i'm i have finished I've completed nine books this month. My goal was to do eight and I'm reading a 10th now. I won't finish it because tomorrow's February, but that's okay. Nine books is great. So, um, things that were on my life goals list are, um, taking my car to the mechanic, which I did, uh, registering my car, which was late, but I did it. <laughs> um, I needed to clean out my car, three car things because my car was a big, heavy nuisance to me. And I did that. And then I also wanted to donate some of my um, commercial yarns and like acrylic and stuff like that to the senior center in town, which I haven't gotten to because I need to like go through it and make it look a little nicer. I don't want to drop off a bunch of like junk. So, and then I also have to go through and clean out my closet. A lot of people do that in spring. I like to do it in winter. I like to hopefully do it in January, but I didn't get to it. So that's being moved to February. 
And then I had my knitting goals. So we all have our knitting goals at the beginning of the year. And as time goes on, they get like more lenient or forgotten, right? I accomplished all of my knitting goals. Well, not all of them. Let's, okay, let's backtrack. I, let's put what's on there. So I wanted to count and catalog my yarn. I did that. I did it twice. <laughs> I did it once with Maddie. I couldn't figure out what I was doing and I thought I lost count. So I did it again and I did it on my computer, which was much nicer. I also had wanted to finish my advent blanket, which I did. And I wanted to finish my advent sweater, which I did not. <laughs> it's one of the, the projects that I brought into this year. So I'll show you that in a second. Um, I'm really close though. I'm excited. So I wanted to do a 2022 recap video, which is what I'm doing now. I wanted to make that orange muscleberg. I did it a Sophie scarf, a pair of socks, and a gnome. I did that. And then I wanted to do a scrappy muscleberg with my leftovers from the advent self-striping sock I did from Freckled Whimsy for 2022. I started it and I ripped it out. So that one will be next month. <laughs> and then my monthly recap, which is what I'm doing now too, adding it on. And then I wanted to add all of my sweater quantities which are in these bags back here um into Ravelry Q which I did and I will show you now so um here we go hopefully I've taken pictures of the yarn and the pattern and put it on the screen here <laughs> so I plan on making another love note this will be my third love note I'll be using DK Twinkle yarn from Knit Crate that I specifically bought to make this project I'm not sure that I have enough to do my size, so I might size down and do like a more fitted love note, or I might make one for my mom, depending. It is a bright coral color. I really like it. I'm hoping that it works out. <laughs> I also plan to do the Flutterbutt set, which I plan on knitting with my Knitty Bow Fiber Co. yarn in Care Bear Stare. I really like that yarn. It was what I wanted to do with it, and I've got four skeins, which is just enough for me to get the full Flutterbutt set by Jessie made. So hopefully that that gets accomplished. I don't know if I'm going to say this year, but that's what it's for. So um, I do have to make the outline tee this year by Jessie made again. This one I have cascade fingering white yarn and I don't know the colorway, but it's really pretty and I'll have a picture. But um, that's for the Arkansas yarn crawl this year. And so I need to finish that by July. Um, I plan on making the outline tee, though people can make the outline tank or the outline raglan. And I, I chose the tee because it's going to be summer. <laughs> um, okay. So then I bought last year on the yarn crawl, a set of five alpaca socks yarns by Lane Yarns. And I'm going to make the, I think it's called Sister Cardigan, uh, by Chris Berlin. I have a picture here. I do, because I'm going to do it. <laughs> and I hope that that comes out really cute. I have five skeins of it. It's a lot of yardage, and I'm hoping that that's going to be good. Um, it's a cardigan that I feel like I could definitely wear everywhere. It's just not one that I think I'll be motivated to knit. So hopefully I do it. <laughs> then I have the Illuminate by Andrew Mowry using some Arkansas Yarn Co. Um, in gray, and um, it's Mesa Skane's mohair in icicle that I bought specifically for this pattern. So I think the pattern calls for sport, but Maddie's making hers in fingering and I think I can do it too. <laughs> then I have the V-neck boxy by Hohi Locatelli and I've chosen to knit that in Wooly Mama. Um, it's a five skein set I got called Whimsy and it's so pretty. And I've had it for a long time. It was the first like big sweater quantity I bought um, and I just couldn't figure out a pattern for it. I think this is gonna be the one. So then I have the Elton cardigan, which I have two, that's also by Hohi Locatelli. I have two skeins of fingering and two skeins of mohair, which is not enough for the size I want to make. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to buy another skein or size down and just make it a more fitted object. She calls for 16 inches of positive ease in the cardigan, and I don't know if that's necessary for me. So we'll see. 
Lastly, I have on my queue the Summer Sorrel. I've already made this powder once and I gave it away. It did not look great on me. I didn't love how it looked, but my mom loved the shape so much. So I'm going to make one a couple sizes smaller and hopefully it'll fit her really well in some um, hone it yarn. I have three skeins. It's kind of a fade. I'm hoping it looks good. So those are my cue plans. I do not have set dates for those, but I'm hoping, oops, <laughs> um, I'm hoping to get most of those done this year. That will get rid of so much yarn for me. And all of those again are hanging in these bags here, ready to be turned into beautiful projects. So, um, what else? I'm tired. That was 20 minutes of good, I think. Um, I did put in my bullet journal some YouTube and project tracking information. So um, the whips I had starting in January are here. The things I finished, or the things that I started casting on, cast on new stuff are here. So I cast on three new things in January and finished all three. And I finished three whips that I had going. So, um, pretty happy with the journaling process. Tomorrow is February 1st and I will get to go through and do all my February planning. And then I, it makes me really happy. I just like it. So, um, yeah, I have to do my final tracking for the month. I'm going to try to get all of my total grams knit, total yards knit, total skeins out, all of that <sighs> finished. <laughs> and then I have a little life recap, which I think is just going to be free form journaling. But I don't know. I feel like this is kind of fun to do. If you want to know more about the ones I've done, I can... I can talk about that in another video. I will link below where I got my inspo for it, which was Pickup Limes. Um, I, I like her a lot. She's cool. So let's see. I don't plan on doing a make nine this year since I didn't finish mine. Um, I do plan on finishing the two objects I'm still missing from my make nine, which are the Shifty and the Fall Favorite Sweater. Those will not come this winter. They'll probably be more towards the end of the year because I just need a break from them. Um, I'm trying to go easy on myself this year. I pushed myself really hard at the beginning of last year and I burnt out. So I'm not going to do that. I also wanted to give myself um, permission to get rid of scraps. So I am doing a scrappy giveaway to a couple friends and I'm not holding on to the yarn that I've used. For instance, for the pair of socks that I did, I didn't knit all that yarn. And normally I'd be like, well, I can make another pair of socks. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to give it away. And someone else is going to make socks and they're going to love it. And then um, same thing with the hypnotic yarn that I used for the Sophie scarf and the cat hat. I've got like 40 grams left. I don't need it. I can just give it away. And so that's what I plan on doing. I'm going to try to sort through all of my scraps and my minis in the month of February, plus the things that I didn't do on um, my January list. I'll add them to my February list. And hopefully next month, I'll film more, more frequently and show you the process of going through everything. So <sighs> sorry that this was so chaotic and, and short, and that I haven't really vlogged or anything for a long time, but I hope you enjoyed this little video and I will see you guys next month. Bye.